Hey guys, this is uh, Tom from The Verge. Just going to have a look at the Xbox Live integration on Windows 8 and some of the audio and video features. So start off with uh, Xbox Live. You can see it here on the home screen. If you go in, the first thing you notice is um, you obviously get access to your avatar here on the left. We scroll across. You should actually be able to customize that avatar. I'm not sure if that's that's working totally right now. I think there's a few connection issues. Um, but you, you will be able to uh, customize your avatar there. Um, you can also get access to your friends list, so you can see who's online. Um, if we go into one particular friend, you can sort of compare games. Um, you can have a look at their profile. It seems very similar to the actual iOS, uh, so the iPad application. So some of the games that are coming from Windows 8, um, you will actually get achievements with them. Um, so you'll be able to access those achievements here. The final part of it is that you actually get access to the Windows Game Marketplace. Now there's not a lot of games in here. I'll just show you, I think, I think we've only got Pinball, FX, uh, uh, 2 and Solitaire. Uh, if we go into Solitaire, we can either buy it or look, look at the game details. I think we've already got it on the system because it's pre-installed. So we'll just look at the full tile version. And there you go, you get a play option there. Just go in and play Solitaire. So obviously this is a, 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 another sort of Metro style um, game here. So you can play Solitaire just as you normally would. Um, it's also got achievements for this one because it's an Xbox Live game. So, um, and obviously this shows your, shows your uh, avatar up there in the top right. Okay, so we're just going to look at the video app in Windows 8 here. This is the main way that you'd actually play or access video content on Windows 8. Um, as you can see, you get the sort of spotlight stuff. Um, the whole interface looks very much like the Xbox uh, Live app. Um, we can scroll across and you get your collection. So we've got one video in there at the moment. Um, you also get the movies marketplace and the TV marketplace. Um, if we go back to our collection and we play this video, what you'll see is you get lots large sort of metro style controls there. Um, and you can right click to bring up the sort of controls down the bottom here. Um, now there's a, an option here that says play on Xbox, um, basically we, we haven't got an Xbox here r right now but this uses the Xbox Live companion application to stream this content to an Xbox. Um, the other thing we can do is we can drag down from the top and then snap to the left and what will happen is this will basically go into a mini player. So you've got the minute player there and it's like an overview of what's coming up next. And if we go back to the actual main start screen and we launch, uh, just say weather. What you see is it's still snapped alongside, so you can basically uh, launch another Metro app or even a desktop app, and uh, you still had this uh, snap to the side there. So we drag this, let's just drag this back out. And we'll go back to the main interface. And the, what you'll notice here is uh, down the bottom, the video will still play even when you're in the video app application. You can obviously control it there. Um, now, if we have a look through the store, what you'll notice is no mention of Zoom at all. So we've got TV Marketplace there, Movie Marketplace, and obviously the Spotlight stuff. Okay, so next up we're going to look at the music application. And again, very similar to the uh, video application, this is the main uh, interaction point for any audio content on Windows 8. Um, again, you can right click, um, you get access to the controls down the bottom here. Um, one thing that's missing is the play on Xbox, um, so it doesn't look like you can stream um, audio content to the um, Xbox 360 using the, the companion application. Um, we've obviously got the spotlight, so very similar um, to the video one. And we've got our collection here, so we can see some of the songs we've got there. And the music marketplace on the right there. Again, no mention of Zoom. Um, now let's play some music. So it's identical to the video application and you also get some cover art in the background um, which is also pretty much the same as the Xbox experience at the moment. So we can also snap this to the side and that will create a mini player. And we can go into another Metro style application and use that. Let's bring that back up. Okay, we, uh, as you can see, when you go back to the music app, it's still playing on, along the bottom, and you get status there as well, similar to the video app. 
So when you're in a traditional uh, desktop and you double click a file, so this is a music file, it'll actually open it in the Metro style um, uh, music player. And that is the same for videos as well. So if we go back, it'll bring up the uh, Metro style video player as well. Okay, and that wraps up yeah, a quick look at the music and the video and Xbox side of Windows 8. Thank you.